Hello students, welcome to my channel. These days you must be busy in preparing for your board examination. I just want to give fun advice to everyone that prior to your board examination, just go through all these questions because these are hand-picked exemplar questions. And exemplar, as I always mention, it is important. In term 1 also we discussed it and in term 2 also we are going to have a discussion on it. I have picked the questions along with the answers so in case you want to take the screenshot you may and for those students who want to understand and frame the answer in their own words they can do like that also right so we are starting with question number one and it is asking us a person shows a strong unusual hypersensitive reactions when exposed to certain substances present in the air. Identify the condition and name the cells responsible for such situations or reactions. What precautions should be taken to avoid such a reaction? Now in this question, hypersensitive reaction is the key word. And remember, whenever they will be talking about hypersensitive reaction, you don't waste much time of your viewers and quickly relate that they are talking about allergy, right? So, allergy is the condition. Name the cells responsible for such reactions. So, these are the mass cells which are responsible for such reaction because they help in producing histamine and serotonin substances which are quite high in the allergy situation okay so please do go through each part of the question and answer it separately so identify the situation we have done it's allergy name the cells we have done along with that additional we have answered that mass cells they help in producing histamine and serotonin now what precautions should be taken now this is a general question that if anybody is facing allergy then they need to identify the allergen means the causative agent for their allergy. Once they identify, they need to take precautions because if you will stay far from allergen, there will be no allergy. So that's why here it is written, precaution taken to prevent such reaction to avoid allergens responsible for a particular allergy. This is the only solution. Otherwise, you need to be on medicine for long. Right? Now, we'll move on to next question. For an organ transplant, it is an advantage to have an identical twin. Why? Now, identical twins are the ones which are monozygotic, means they develop from a single zygote. That simple one zygote, which is unicellular, when it undergoes division, it forms the cell, and these two cells initially they give rise to separate embryos so this is embryo 1 and embryo 2 these monozygotic twins can either be both males or both of the babies in this case would be a female so these are those twins which have maximum resemblance to each other because they have their dna in match with each other that's why they resemble in the faces so if uh, we are asking about the persons which match with each other maximally. So, monozygotic twins are the answer. Now, you know that each cell has a marker on it, right? And these markers are made by the proteins because of which the cells, they identify that what are the self cells and what are the non-self cells. Now, if I talk about all the cells of my body, these will be the self cells. And if I talk about your body in comparison to my body, so for my body, your body cells are non-self cells. So, that's why we cannot have easily transplantation from anyone, right? Because non-self cells, when goes inside your body of ours, they will be considered as foreign cells and antigens, they will be considered as antigens and our body will start fighting against these cells. So, monozygotic twins, they have maximum resemblances and transplantation would have been an easy process in them because the cell markers are not considered as non-self. That's why, see in the answer, for an organ transplant, it is an advantage to have identical twin because the organ will have same surface markers. This is very important keyword for this answer that identical twins, they have same surface markers. 
So if uh, two people have same surface markers, they can obviously have transplantation because no immune system will be evoked in their body. And therefore, the recipient immune system, recipient is the one who takes and donor is the one who donates, will not identify as foreign and will not react against it. In case of different surface markers, the immune system starts a reaction, kills the foreign tissue or rejects it. So that's what I have told you. If two unrelated people will have transplantation, then the uh, donor cells will be killed by the recipient because they will be considered as foreign cells or antigens. So immune system will be evoked in this case, right? So, it's always better that organ transplantation is an added advantage in the case of identical twins. Now, we move on to next question. That is question number three. What are lifestyle diseases? Whenever we have a faulty lifestyle means the way we live, there should be adequate amount of time given to each aspect of your life, be it exercise, sitting, standing, eating, sleeping, right? So whenever there is a disturbance in all these processes, it gives rise to lifestyle diseases. You might have seen various people who suffer from diabetes, but actually their parents are not diabetic. So why it has happened? Because of the faulty lifestyle. The people, they keep on sitting, eating whole day without any exercise, which affects the body. So, lifestyle diseases are caused by specific food habits, work-related posture, harmful radiations, lack of physical exercise, mental stress. So, these are few of the factors which are being given to you and they evoke or cause the occurrence of the lifestyle diseases. You will be surprised to know there are various studies being done and it is being found that cancer is one of the lifestyle diseases. The people under stress, they start taking alcohol and they suffer from lifestyle diseases. Alcohol can cause any devastation, right? Heart diseases, sometimes they are lifestyle also, right? Uh, most of the times they are lifestyle because the people they keep on eating without any proper exercises which uh, accumulates the low density lipoproteins in the arteries and atherosclerosis and multiple heart problems arise. Sometimes it is congenital also like some people are born with heart hole but that is different. Now lifestyle diseases are acquired diseases which happens once you take birth and you favor faulty lifestyle, right? So, please do mention the factors if such question comes and along with that, you can write in few examples. You can also include diabetes in it. Next question is question number four. And it is saying that if there are two pathogenic viruses, one with DNA and other with RNA, which one would be mutating faster and why? We always know that RNA is unstable. So, RNA being unstable, it will mutate faster, whereas DNA is stable. And in chapter number 5 of uh, class 12, we already studied that why DNA is stable. DNA is stable because of the presence of deoxyribose sugar in it. And this deoxyribose sugar makes the DNA stable. So, that's why it is being the genetic material in major amount of cells. So, DNA is more stable and also has better repair mechanisms which are not possible. In senior classes, you'll study that DNA can repair on its own because after almost every replication cycle, error do happens. But every person is not suffering from cancer because repair mechanisms, they make the corrections in the basis of the DNA which are not right as per complementary base pairing rule. So, this is the reason. Please do answer both the parts separately. Which one mutate faster? RNA is the answer. And why are they asking? So, you have given two reasons to it. One, the DNA is stable. And the second reason is better repair mechanism. I hope you have liked this video. Please share it with your friends so that they can also get help through it. Uh, this way, we will move on and we will discuss important questions. So stay connected to my channel and happy learning.